Hey, back inside the treasure chest. We got a few things going out tonight. It's later at night, weeknight. So Janelle's got me out here packing up orders for the next morning. There's a few cool things that sold today that I figured I'd do a what sold segment. So first thing I'm gonna pack up is a Daniel Tiger baseball cap. This was Frankie's and uh, obviously he outgrew it. He's five years old now. So we decided to sell it and we listed it and it's been listed since November. And it sold for $14.99. This is going first class to Pennsylvania, so I'll just use a plain brown box because I can't use the priority boxes. The free priority boxes are for shipping things priority with USPS. And that's obviously gonna be way less than a pound. I know uh, there are some people out there that would just throw this into like a poly bag and ship it. I don't know, I'm, I'm caught up with boxes. I think it's presentable sending it into a box. I got nothing against people that put it in poly bags great that that you can do that and keep your cost that low but i don't know i just ocd i guess i just think it's cool saying it in a box i hate it when the tape folds over like that this tape they get from uline is thin so it always does that it's kind of annoying and then I just write the zip code on there so when Janelle prints the labels, she knows whose it is. So the first cool thing that's sold is a teddy bear. It's a uh, Commonwealth plush bear that sold for $80 plus shipping. And it's got like an embossed uh, like floral print to it, I guess. Janelle would probably be able to explain it a lot better than I am. It only weighs nine ounces, but the customer paid for priority, so we're gonna ship it priority. So Janelle would probably have to explain to you why this went for $80 because I would not pay $80 for this and I do not see the value in this but somebody else does and I am okay with that. So Commonwealth has a few different stuffed animals that are that are worth quite a bit. Also Commonwealth unicorns are a huge bolo. If you see unicorn plush by Commonwealth, always look them up. They're worth a lot. This one, when I looked it up, I'm pretty sure I looked it up, you know, Commonwealth pink floral bear uh, bean plush when it's kind of got that like bean bag um, feel to it. Which is why it's heavy. Which is, yeah, why it's a little bit heavier than just a regular teddy bear. Um, I think I put that floral print, you know, in the keywords and everything, looking, looking up, trying to look up all the keywords possible. And this one came up, uh, chenille. Chenille is another word that came up for this bear. Not sure exactly what that means. Uh, if, I mean, the material maybe, it's not quite as soft as cotton. It's got more of a linen feel to it, maybe. I'm not very good with <laughs> different material names and everything, knowing the different, but that's that's what it was called. And I was very pleasantly surprised when I, when I looked that up. That might've even been a bins find. So another pretty cool sale, not as huge. Uh, sold a plush spider for $20, $19.99 plus shipping. It's called Animal Jam Culture. Uh, again, Janelle's gonna have to explain that to you a little bit. Honestly, I don't know what it is. I saw it on the tag and I looked it up and it was worth $20, so I picked it up. Never heard of it. <laughs> this is actually my most used box I use for Janelle's plush, is the USPS shoe box. It's just kind of cool. You know, it's long and wide so the plush doesn't get squished. Uh, I like using it for the plush a lot. But you know, it was always putting plush as priority mail, especially if it's a light item. And I guess it ends up charging the customer a little more for shipping because some of the stuff could be shipped as first class. Uh, she's just got a slight method to her madness on why she does that especially for when it's a plush that's worth probably forty dollars or more fifty dollars or more i like to send it priority i know frank doesn't have uh too many fears about about mail <laughs> losing our packages and that especially a plush but i don't know like i i like the insurance that priority provides with the packages for, I mean, even if it's not a $100 stuffed animal, just something like that that's 
I don't know. That's just how I feel. In reality, it's probably, I don't know, four or five dollars more to ship it. And they're just guaranteed that they're going to get it there within a couple days. They're not going to have to wait a whole week if it's the post office is getting backed up. Got the zip code on that one. This is definitely way under a pound. She could have totally shipped this first class, but whatever. I'm, I'm not going to downgrade them because they already paid for the priority shipping. So, yeah, whatever. Next thing's pretty common item that sells a lot. Uh, I find it cool because I just listed this three days ago, two days ago, actually. It's a TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator, scientific calculator, and it's pink, so it's pretty cool that it's not your standard color. I actually sold this for $27.99. Comps go for more on this, but there was a broken screen to it. Um, the screen is still legible, but there's a couple blotches on the screen, like someone pushed it in a bit. So I put that in the listing and lowered the price quite a bit compared to other calculators of this. I don't know where Janelle found this. I'm sure she'll tell you while I'm packing it up. So I'm just going to use a regular USPS small mailing box. This isn't the flat rate box, which I could have used a flat rate small box. I'm going to put it in here with some bubble wrap to protect the calculator. And then if it ends up coming up cheaper, Oh, yeah, okay. All right. And then if it ends up coming up cheaper to use the padded flat rate envelope, I will actually fit this box into the padded flat rate envelope and uh, use that for my method of shipping. I actually found this at the bins and it was something that somebody put back. There was no batteries in it. And like we said, it did have those smudges on the screen, um, you know, some minor spots. So I wonder if they just saw that, they weren't able to test it, they just figured it wasn't worth it and put it back. Cause it, it's funny, there's there's a spot in the bins that everybody always, you know, they're comping things and that's where they always put their stuff back. And I've found many items in the, in that little pile where people, people are putting things back and for some reason, I don't know, they put it back, but it's worth something. So I got it and yeah, I mean, sold it for a little under the, usual usual price it goes for but still a good profit for buying something we bought at the bins for probably a buck or less maybe even 50 cents for the weight of it so it's actually cheaper to ship it in a regular flat rate envelope so i'm going to stuff it in one of these and i'll just tape these edges just to secure them good so the envelope doesn't break open. And take the box and stuff it in like so. I'm probably only saving, I don't know, 50 cents doing this when I looked it up, but every little bit adds up. I'll make sure I rewrite my zip code on there. And that'll be good to go. So the next thing that's going out are these five figures of uh, their Funko figures, vinyl figures from Five Nights at Freddy's. Just uh, little guys. Them sold for $33.26 plus international shipping to Australia for $19. Uh, I'm going to actually individually wrap these up in my small bubble wrap and then I'll put them in a poly bag, the, our storage poly bags that you always see and then we'll drop them in a box and ship them off. I think I found these at a garage sale over the summer. Do we, how long have these been listed? Been for that long? Since, um, since June. So yeah, I think I got these at a garage sale with some other Five Nights at Freddy's figures in a, a bag full of toys like this. Couple, I made a couple lots of them in that. So that goes, that goes to show you that international, uh, selling internationally helps out a lot. Cause I mean, these took a while to sell as it is, and then they ended up going international. So if we had only sold in the U.S., probably would have been waiting a lot longer to sell these, maybe. Yeah. Did you lower the price on these at all? I'm sure they've been lowered a bit. I, I don't remember now what they started at or... Do you remember what we paid for them? 
Oh gosh, I feel like they were in a, like I said, they were in a bag with some other toys, other Five Nights at Freddy's toys. I wanna say I paid $8 for the bag and I got at least two lots out of that. Oh, so we have another lot of these then. Well, not these same ones, oh, but other Five Nights at Freddy's toys. Yeah, yeah. yeah different. We've sold, we've sold Five Nights at Freddy's before. It, it does sell. I don't yeah, know, I don't know why these took so long, but maybe we just, we had them priced high and we finally brought them down to a decent price. Yeah, this brand is definitely a bolo. I'll always look up Five Nights at Freddy's. So I'll just take them, stuff them in here. Again, this is just all for presentation, you know. Keep them together nice in the box. Especially if you're selling a collectible thing or something that's used, you know, it just gives it a little more of a... Even though you sold this for $33 to somebody, this might be, you know, priceless to somebody else, you know. Might be something they weren't able to find especially in their country and they're thrilled to get it so it's you know throw a little make it a little presentable plain brown box because this is going international and we ship all our internationals through pirate ship which is the simple export rate so then on ebay in the listings for international uh, shipping we use a f charge a flat rate because it's the same no matter where in the world we ship things. Canada has a rate and then uh, the rest of the world is on a separate rate. And Australia will probably see this in about a month. Certainly takes quite a long time to get there. Australia. And I always like to also take my seam in the box, especially for them international orders. That's good to go. So next thing is another cool item. It is a little gorilla, is it? Yeah, gorilla ape. Well, it's a Wallace Berry ape and this went out the door for $65 plus shipping. So we will definitely ship that priority, but in a eight by eight priority box. Uh, why is this one worth $65, honey? I am staring at a five inch tall stuffed gorilla. Yep. I think I found this one at Salvation Army. So, and with that Salvation Army, I think their plush is 79 cents or so, depending on the size. And I uh, saw his tag, Wallace Berry. I don't know if it was Wallace Berry before, um, what was it, Russ Berry? But yeah, I looked him up, looked up Gorilla, Ape, you know, Monkey. He's got the little graduation cap there. And none for sale, but I checked the sold comps and Bubba Ape by Wallace Berry goes for quite a bit. Didn't find any comps with the graduation cap, but other ones just like him sold for right around that $60 mark. Plus or minus a little bit here or there, but. How long did you have that listed for? Maybe a week. Wow, so that sold fast. Yes, yes it did. So watch for. Bubba Ape. Bubba Ape. By Wallace Berry. In Fremont, California. Fun fact, we lived in Fremont, California for about a year. And we loved it. <laughs> Janelle got me good on this next one. It is a doll that sold for $34.90. And as you can see, it is very delicate. So we're going to do our best to get this packed up very carefully. I actually may... They're kind of expensive. I got some expanding foam that I buy from American Bubble Boy, and I actually might pack that in there just so I know it's good. I'd rather spend the few bucks on shipping and prevent a return and or, and or negative feedback. So I think we're gonna go ahead and just eat the cost on that one. <laughs> one good thing is, is it's only going to New York State. It's staying in New York State, so not going too far. So let's see what we can do about this guy. It's a little uh, ice skating figure. I'm gonna put it in a poly bag first, ever so carefully. You know you what, maybe I'll wrap it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it with some, you guys are gonna have fun watching me do this. We're gonna figure this out together. 
We've certainly, certainly packed worse. And I have the million dollar question for my wife. Why did we get this? And now we gotta figure out how to pack this thing. <laughs> well, I found it at the bins. I found this one and a couple other ones just like this. Uh, it's by Byers and Byers makes, this is called, this is the skaters collection, I guess, or uh, they're carolers dolls. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not, I don't know all these terms and everything and different we collections. We dolls very often. That's why I'm surprised you. Well, I, it's a bolo. I, I've heard before to look out for those carolers dolls, those dolls or figures, whatever they're called, that have that, that O face <laughs> where, you know, they're singing. And so I saw them and grabbed them and comped them. And, you know, they go for that nice 30 to $40 and more. Some of them go for more. A lot of them, you know, when, you, when you're looking at comps and looking at ones for sale, they, there's a lot of, what am I supposed to be getting? There's a lot of damaged ones that, you know, they might be missing a foot, the skate, just different different things. I mean, they're, they're, they're very delicate, gotta be careful. Uh, so when I found them and I was looking them over, I was kind of surprised at how good a shape they were in, especially for being at the Goodwill bins. And um, yeah, Frank might think that this might be a little more work than it's worth, but it's definitely a bolo. Look for those carolers, figures. Byers is the brand, B-Y-E-R-S. And yeah, those those are those are worth looking up. You gotta figure too, we sold this for I mean I'm not complaining about the sale at all. This this is I mean sale's a sale, it's not bad. Uh but it, so we made $33 on this sale. You gotta subtract your fees the cost of our packing materials. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd do this again. It's it's all right. It's, I'm just curious though. It's All right, let's see what we can do here. Got a little filler material on the bottom there. I don't think I'm gonna use the expanding foam because I don't want them picking this out of the, the foam expands all around it, and I want I want don't want them to struggle pulling this out and then breaking something on it because it's got a lot of pieces sticking out. Yeah, like a lag or something. I don't want it dug into the foam and then they can't. So I'm gonna wrap this again in our large bubble wrap. And then I'll just try to keep it suspended in the box with filler material. And I think that's, air, air you know, I, I haven't used peanuts in forever. I'm, I'm going to probably use the air pillows, I think, and more uh, paper. Yeah. I mean, it's light enough, too, where when it does hit or bounce around, it's not going to have the weight of, you know, the, what am I trying to say? It's not going to have the, the force from the weight of the item, you know, uh, as if it were a heavy item. So I think it's, I think we're gonna be good. This isn't as bad as I thought it was. One sec. So I got some air pillows here. Let's stick them in there. I'm to get a little creation right in the middle there where it's kind of suspended. Uh, maybe we'll do a couple more air pillows. We actually don't buy these air pillows at all. <laughs> Whenever I order boxes from Uline, they send me a whole mess load of them with what I order. And I also have a lot of friends that give me air pillows too. So I got quite a collection. I'm not gonna put that there because I don't like the force of that. Um, so we just kind of let them build up and use them when I remember to use them, I guess. A lot of times I don't even remember to use them. I think that's going to be just fine. What do you think, hon? You feeling yeah. good about that? Yeah, I think so. As long as the box doesn't get crushed and the air pillow doesn't push on it. I think it'll be all right.
So, that'll work. I'm gonna get a zip code on there. One, four, two, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's, so the last thing I got are these light bulbs. <laughs> I bought these for, I think it was less than a dollar at Home Depot. I got them just because they were less than a dollar. And I thought I could surely sell these for more than a dollar on eBay. And I did. We actually got an offer for all 10 of them for $42. I think it ended up being, what, like $4 each or something like that? Or a little, little more, a little yeah, less. Like so we gladly accepted. And they're going out the door. I, I'm happy about that. <laughs> so we'll get these packed up. So I was playing around with the numbers and first off it wouldn't have fit in a regional rate A box. So I played around with the numbers a bit and regional rate B wouldn't have saved me much money than just shipping at regular priority. And I'd rather use a bigger box. So I'm using the large mailing box instead of the regional rate B box to make sure um, I get a little extra padding around them boxes so they don't break on us. I think that'll do just fine. So this is, uh, we don't do a lot of retail, retail arbitrage. We just, I don't know, we don't really put the time and energy into finding this stuff. And when we do, we usually don't really find anything. This was just a one-off thing that I found and I was like, yeah, why not? So I, they had one box of these left and I grabbed them. I'll get a little filler material in there. What do you think, honey? Should I wrap each one of these in bubble wrap the box I and then stuff them in? No. You don't think so? No. Yeah. I, would, I would just think to put them in there and pack around them. Uh, she's gonna get mad at me guys I get a little too crazy and we're getting low on battery on our camera and neither one of us want to run inside to get another battery for the camera so you guys can keep hanging out with us so we'll see if I can get this done before our battery runs out what's our battery at hon? 10 10% I don't think we're gonna do it I don't think they gotta sit here and watch us pack 10 boxes of light bulbs. Nope, they don't. Okay, so I got all them boxes bubble wrapped. And as I was finishing, I was thinking, yeah, that's way overkill. So I was thinking them boxes get shipped to the store without any bubble wrap around them and all that mess. But I don't know, I guess I worry too much about I worry too much about the eBay algorithm, you know, with the return percentage rate and everything, and just want everything to be just right. So we'll get this taped up before we run out of battery and get these out the door. We're gonna get all these labels printed up, uh, slap them on there, and then Janelle's orders will be all ready to be shipped out tomorrow when our mailman comes. Thanks for hanging out with us, watching us pack some orders. It was fun chatting with you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya!